Hello everyone, this is Muhammad Arkham. Uh, today in this lecture, I will discuss that how to prepare a bar bending schedule for a, a circular slab. Okay, so looks here we have this uh, circular slab. Okay, so this is a um, slab having one beam. Okay, and this is the diameter of uh, this circular slab. This is the top of a circular slab and this is the bottom and this is the center of this uh, circular slab okay and this this is the diameter so let's go let's uh, see yeah, let's uh, and this is the given data okay in given data we have die of a slab a diameter of slab is uh, 6096 millimeter radius is 3048 millimeter okay so, so the radius is equal to dia divided by 2 okay dia divided by 2 so center to center distance for main bars okay so the bar will be placed in this pattern okay that will be our main bar okay and center to center distance uh, for main bar is 152.4 millimeter and center to center distance uh, for long bar is also same like main bar 152.4 uh, millimeter so dia of bar is for both for main bar and for long bar this uh, we can also call the distribution bar or temperature bar okay so the dia of bar for a uh, main bar and distribution bar for both we have full front uh, 0, 1, 0 millimeter okay so now looks here this is ld ld mean development length okay so ld that is given to us is 50 multiplied by d so this is 50 is constant and d is the diameter of uh, bar okay so this is the uh, diameter of bar and this is 2d so what's this 2d this 2d for 90 angle bend okay so when for example if we have this sorry if we have this uh, bar okay when we bend like this at the 90 angle so the length will be decreased somehow when it bend so for this we use to multiply by d to detect from the actual length to get the cut length okay so 2 multiply by 12.7010 so we will get the deduction from the overall uh, bar okay so and b so this is b the dimension of this beam is 304.8 multiply by 304.8 millimeter square if we multiply this by this we will get the area but this is the length and this is the width okay so now looks here now looks here we have a cross section uh, for this slab so this is the cross section of uh, this slab now looks here this is the cross section of this slab this is the uh, from here to here we have this slab okay Looks here. We have this slab. Okay. As I explained that this is the top center and this is the bottom. Okay. So and this is the cross section. From here to here we have slab. So this is the dia of uh, diameter of slab or uh, length of slab. Okay. And uh, from uh, so this is the from here to here we have development length as I discussed in the given data. This 50 multiplied by d shows the development length this is the it left side left side and this is the right side okay so we have two development at left and at right and also a 90 angle bend at the uh, right side 
and also at the left side okay and this is the slab thickness is uh, 6 inches so and this is the beam having dimensions of a dimension of 12 multiplied by 12 inches okay looks here this is the uh, diameter now this is the diameter of um, bar diameter of slab okay diameter of slab and this is the radius of uh, the slab okay and this is the cross section so now looks here so I have to find the number of bars so for number of bars I take the radius of slab divided by center to center distance and minus one okay so this is the formula to find the right uh, to find the number of bars so why should I take uh, the radius so now looks here the bar we will we put in this uh, slab from here to here from here to here we will we will put the bars okay so just I calculate the bars will be placed from here to here therefore I take this length so this length is equal to uh, the radius of uh, this uh, circular slab so therefore if I was calculating uh, if I were calculating the uh, for overall so I will take the whole um, diameter of this um, slab but now I just calculate the bar will be placed from here to here or from here to here I will I will just code this uh, this I will just code from here to here this length so I will take the radius divided by center to center and multiply a uh, minus one so therefore I take the therefore I take uh, the radius of slab divided by center to center and minus one okay so number of bars is equal to so this is the radius okay this is the radius in mm and this is the center to center distance and uh, minus one so when I simplify this I will get the number of bars is equal to 19 so total number of main bars is equal to 19 plus 19 so why I add this 19 because we have two sides if I calculate from here to here so the, the bar will be placed in this from here to here is 19 the bar are 19 from here to here and also from here to here we have also 19 so at the bottom and at the top we, when we combine these both so we will get 19 plus 19 we will get the 38 number of bars at the whole at the main bar at the uh, overall uh, slab okay so we will add now look here we will add the central bar to the top and bottom bars okay so when will we will add with these bar at central bar okay so this we didn't count till we did not count this main bar with these both uh, top bar and bottom bars we don't we did not add this central bar so I have to add this uh, central bar with uh, these with these top and bottom bars okay so when I add so now look here so the total number of bars is equal to 38 plus 1 so we will get the number of bars is a uh, number of bar or 39 okay so number of bars uh, will be used at the uh, uh, at the uh, at this circular slab the main bar will be used in this circular slab in this direction not not so you can say left north south east west you can say from left to right you can say um, uh, the number of bar um, are uh, 39 okay um, I think this is enough for today and we will proceed this lecture uh, in the uh, next video okay if you have any question regarding this lecture uh, you can ask me in comment section thank you